So I've got this little Neo Soul kind of idea and it's running with three instances of the new Halion Sonic SC in Cubase 6. I've got one instance running on the instrument rack connected to a MIDI track. The other two instances are just instrument tracks with separate instances of Halion Sonic loaded. So for example, the Rhodes and then the acoustic bass. This is just the beats at the top. So I've got separate outputs with the rough roads and the acoustic bass because they're on the instrument tracks. Instrument tracks are a combination of MIDI and audio data. So that's really nice to have them on their own outputs. But I wanna have my drum sounds on individual outputs as well. So if we open up the Halion Sonic SE, there is no routing option for individual sounds in a kit. We're gonna to have to find a workaround for that. So I'm gonna show you one of the ways that you could do this. What we do is we split the beat down by using the MIDI, coming down to dissolve part. I'm gonna untick the optimized display. I'm gonna click OK. So now we've got the drum elements. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna move this one down here and separate it from the musical elements. That's muted because that's the original track. We can get rid of that. And what I'm gonna do is to work out what's what of these drum sounds. Now these at the moment are all on MIDI channel one. So I'm gonna solo these and work through them. Kick. This is nothing to do with the outputs. This is just purely the actual MIDI data. So closed hat. That's Tom, or it's almost like an 808 kick as well. I'm just gonna keep it as Tom for the moment. Snare. And one of the things you may have noticed if you are naming the track, you can do shift and enter to name the part based on the actual track. So let's do this here, there we go. So we've got ourselves separate MIDI data for the drum elements, but we want the separate outputs. So we come up to the instrument rack. Let's turn on outputs for each sound. So I've got four outputs for each of the four drum elements here. And what we do is we open it up and we load the same kit on other MIDI channels. So I've got here Hip Hop Kit 5, if I just go to Drums and Percussion. Let's just scroll down, let's load this up. Let's do the same on this one, and the same on this one. So we've got the same kit loaded four times, and we can go to the Mix, and we can split these out on their own outputs. So let's now go back to the MIDI data, the first one, MIDI channel one, the next one, MIDI channel two, MIDI channel three, and MIDI channel four. Let's have a look now. So we can see these individually. So we've got the ability to have these on their own drum channels now, which gives us the ability to EQ them, pan them, compress them, anything we want to do as separate sounds. So just opening up again, four versions of the same kit, each on their own MIDI channel with their own outputs over here. So that's a workaround, that's a way to have individual outputs for sounds in a drum kit.